Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my flawless routine for oily skin. Now we're not just talking makeup, we're gonna start with skincare and go through makeup. Whether you have dry skin, whether you have oily skin, it's all about how you prep your skin in order to get the best makeup application, in order to have your makeup last throughout the day. If you're not using the correct products on your oily skin, your makeup is going to literally melt and slip off your face during the day. So it's super important to prep your skin properly. So I'm just going to share with you my skincare tips, makeup tips on how to keep that oily skin at bay, how to keep your makeup looking flawless, even if you have the oiliest of skin. I do personally have more oily skin and I do a lot of these myself and I know they work. So I'm just going to jump in and get started. I got my Earth Cafe coffee. I'm ready to go here. If you guys are from Laguna or like the surrounding area of Laguna, have you gone to Earth Cafe? If not, you totally have to. It's literally the best coffee, healthy food, like cute little cafe. Oh, I'm addicted. So got my, what did I get? It's like the honey. It's like honey vanilla latte with almond milk. Mm, so good. All right. So let's get started. The very first step again, starting with skincare, super, super important, cleansing your skin. You want to make sure you're using a really good cleanser for more oily skin. You don't want to use something too moisturized and you're hydrating. You want to clean the skin of oils, but you don't want to strip the skin of its natural oils or the natural barrier of your skin because if you over dry your skin, your skin is going to over produce oil to compensate. You want to make sure, and this is super important, your cleanser cannot strip the skin. Do not use cleansers that have uh, SLS in it, sodium lauryl sulfate, they will dry the crap out of your skin. No good. So two cleansers that I have been loving myself personally is the Globiotics. This is the Globiotics MD, the Probiotic Acne Treatment Cleanser. This is a 2% salicylic cleanser and I have been obsessed, obsessed with this brand. You heard me talking all about it on my Instagram. We just started carrying this brand not too long ago and I will do a full video on this brand because I'm telling you, it is like up there, up there in terms of brands for me. So this has the 2% salicylic acid. It really cleans the pores. Again, if you have oily skin, a lot of times you're more acne prone and you have larger pores. I have found this cleanser to really clean the pores really deeply. You're left with minimized pores, super cleansed skin. It helps to take away the oils on your skin, but it does not strip the skin. And you know, I also love my osmosis. This is the Purify Enzyme Cleanser. This one's really, really great if you have more oily skin as well. It does not strip the skin of its natural oils, but it does deeply clean the pores. So starting with cleansers, that's the first step. Next, you want to use a toner on your skin. And what a toner is going to do is it's going to really balance out the pH in your skin, which is a must. I'm going to use the PCA Skin Hydrating Toner. Don't be afraid that this says hydrating because again, you really want to make sure that even with oily skin, that your skin is properly hydrated. A lot of times people with oily skin think they can just skip the whole hydration part. And then again, your skin's going to overproduce oils. You want to hydrate, but you want to hydrate properly. So this toner is great for all skin types, again, including oily skin. So I'm just going to tone my skin and get it ready for the serums that come next. So like I was mentioning, with oily skin, a lot of times comes larger, bigger pores. It sucks. I know. I have oily skin. So I found this product in the Globiotics line. It's the acne clarifying and refining treatment. It's a 2% salicylic acid. And I will tell you, my pores have never looked so invisible since I have started incorporating this into my routine. Your pores will just literally disappear. I am not even kidding. It is insanely amazing. And I love this product. So this is especially good if you have more oily skin to really help those pores. But anyone can use this. You can just use this a couple times a week and I'm telling you, your pores will disappear. So we're going to use this today because before your makeup application, you will be left looking pore free. I'm going to put this all over my skin. And again, this has a 2% salicylic acid. So it will help if you have acne prone skin as well. It will help if you have breakouts or bumps, but your pores, I can't get over how good my pores look since I started using this. It also has some really, really great probiotics in it. The whole line of Globiotics has probiotics for your skin. And just like how probiotics are helpful for the inside of your body, this line has proven that with their formulas, the probiotics that they have incorporated into their formulas really help and really benefit the skin. And I am like, 
I'm like blown away, you guys. So this is just amazing. Oily skin, oh, you will be so impressed. So after that product, you are free to use any other skincare products that you want in your morning routine. But another product that you really wanna use is a hyaluronic acid product. Today, I'm gonna use the PCA Skin. The Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. I really like this HA product a lot as well. So again, hyaluronic acid is super important for oily skin as well. Every type of skin should be using one. But oily skin, again, you're just helping to balance out that oil production in your skin. So something light like a hyaluronic acid is a must. We want to hydrate the skin, but we don't want to put anything like greasy or heavy on it. You want to properly hydrate. So that's why a hyaluronic acid is super, super important. Next, we want to moisturize our skin. And this is super important because we want to make sure we definitely pick the correct moisturizer for our skin. If you are oily, you do not want to pick a super heavy, super thick moisturizer because your makeup will literally just slip and slide all over the place. You really want to make sure you're using a moisturizer that is formulated for oily skin that can help control oils, all of that. So my two picks for a moisturizer for oily skin, these two are absolutely fabulous. I've talked about this one before, the Sunita's Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is designed and made for oily skin. It is amazing. And then this one is a newer find. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks and I am so impressed. It is right up there with the Sunita's one that I have loved for a long time. It's the Glow Biotics, the Probiotic Clarifying Lotion. This is so, so good. This one, it does something truly magical to your skin because it's for oily skin. It says that it helps to reduce bacteria while gently hydrating problem in oily skin. It helps fight and stop the growth of P. acne bacteria. It reduces redness and inflammation with calming ingredients and it absorbs high level of oil to reduce shine and provide a more matted look without drying out the skin. All of those are yes, 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 we need all of that when we have more oily and acne prone skin. I'm gonna use this one today because like I said, I'm really, really hooked on this line and the products just have been amazing me lately. So I'm gonna take this lotion and we're going to moisturize. The thing that I love about this moisturizer too is that it's super light, but very hydrating like it says. I don't know what it is about this moisturizer either because it pretty much leaves your skin feeling like more matte, but it doesn't leave your skin looking matte. Like it leaves your skin with like a healthy, little bit of a glow, like that just like a healthy look to your skin, but you don't feel it. So for oily skin, it just absorbs and I'm addicted. I am addicted. Last step for skincare that's an absolute must is your SPF for the day. And you don't know how many times I hear, I can't use SPF, I have oily skin, they're super greasy, they're super heavy. No, 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 there's an SPF for oily skin, you guys, for sure. One that I really love, and you guys have seen me use this for years now, it's the Elta MD, the UV Elements. The Elta MD line has different SPFs for different skin types and skin concerns, so I really love this brand because they do cater to more oily skin, they have some that cater to more dry skin, and they're true to that. This one I find to be a little bit more mattifying on my skin, it works amazingly under makeup, it's not heavy, it's not greasy, it's not like, you know, over really dewy or anything like that, that when you have more dry skin, you want products like that. So make sure you use an SPF and make sure you use one that's more geared for oily skin. They're out there. This SPF I really like too because it's tinted and it gives you a good little base and evens out your skin tone. This one also protects against infrared rays, which is super, super important. So that was the skincare, that was the prepping part now before your makeup application. Like I said, the prepping part is very important in how your makeup is gonna last throughout the day as well. It's not just what you do makeup wise, it starts with skincare. So now we're gonna move on to the makeup portion though. To start your makeup, you wanna make sure you prime your skin and you wanna make sure you're using a good mattifying primer or something that's gonna, again, help to control the oil and the shine and the little pores and all of that. Although I'm telling you, when you use that Globiotic Salicylic, you will not have any pores. That's why it's so good. So I am going to share with you guys my three favorite mattifying primers. The Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. This is amazing. The Glow Skin Beauty Mattifying Primer. This is amazing. This is just older packaging, but this is awesome. And then this one I love. This is the Color Science, the Mattifying 
fine primer as well. This one has a tint to it. This one really makes everything kind of just matte and smooth and blurred. And this one also has a broad spectrum SPF 20. Now a 20 is going to not be enough for like a full SPF protection for the day, but it's an extra and it benefits your skin. It has good ingredients and everything as well. So these are just my three picks for your mattifying primer. I'm going to use today the Glow Skin Beauty mattifying primer, and I'm just going to apply this down my T-zone. You can apply this wherever you need, wherever you need like oil control or mattifying. For me, that's really just the T-zone. My oily skin tends to be the T-zone. I'm not really oily like in the cheek area or anything like that. So I guess I'm more like combo skin. I definitely get oily in the T-zone. That's where my pores are. That is where I get shiny and you know oily throughout the day. So for me, when I use a mattifying primer, I strictly keep it in the T-zone. Now the next step is something a little bit different. You're gonna apply a thin layer of translucent powder before your liquid foundation. Now, if you have super oily skin, you definitely wanna try this out because it does work. It's gonna really, really help to control oil throughout the day. It's gonna keep your makeup looking so flawless throughout the day without really having to touch up. It's kind of crazy. If your skin is not overly oily, then you can skip this step. But if you have more oily skin, you want to try this for sure. Take a translucent powder. I'm gonna use the Lawless. This is the classic translucent powder. And I'm just gonna pick up some of my big fluffy powder brush. You just want to do a light layer. You don't want to go crazy because the more powder you put on, you're going to have chances of your foundation looking more cakey. You just want to do a quick light layer. So now we're prepped and ready for foundation. What you want to look for in a foundation is a more mattifying formula, something that claims to be long wearing. That's going to help your skin and benefit your skin more. You want to stay away from like dewy formulas or hydrating formulas or really glowy formulas because they will slip and slide on your skin. Look for mattifying, look for long wear claims. Some of my personal favorites are these two right here, the Osmosis Satin Foundation. This is not a mattifying foundation, but it's a long wear foundation where I know people who have super oily skin. I know people who have dry skin that can wear this. This is kind of like a one of its kind, like miracle formula, but it's super long wearing. It's probably one of the longest wearing foundations I have ever come across. I can put this on super early in the morning and go about my day and wash it off super late at night and it stays looking amazing. Another one that I love is the 100% Pure, the Super Fruits Healthy Foundation. This is more for oily skin as well. This one is beautiful on oily skin. It lasts forever and it doesn't make you oily or or greasy or anything. It just keeps you looking healthy and perfect. But there's other foundations that are strictly called mattifying foundations. Again, look for those. Fenty Beauty, this is the Pro Filter, the soft matte long wear foundation. There you have it. Matte long wear, something like that as well. I'm going to use my Osmosis foundation today. I'm going to pump some onto my beauty blender and then we're just going to blend that. Remember, we have that light layer of powder. First, we're just going to take this foundation and just blend it right over that. Then you do the rest of your makeup, but when you do the rest of your makeup, make sure you use a setting powder or translucent powder and dust it over your foundation. So translucent powder under your foundation, translucent powder over your foundation, or setting powder, whatever you want to use to really lock in that foundation. So another quick tip for us oily girls is make sure you're using a waterproof or this mascara on your lower lash line. This is the MAC Extended Play. Giga Black Lash Mascara. For us oily girls, a lot of times we transfer under the eye from our lower lashes, just touching the bottom of our face and oils and you're just, you transfer. So for me, I turn into a raccoon and just like a flaky mess with literally every mascara out there on my lower lashes, except for this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This mascara is the only one that does not transfer on me. This isn't even a waterproof one, so you can either go the waterproof route or you can try this. I personally really love this because it doesn't budge all day, but then it's easier to get off at night. And then last and final tip is with your highlighter. I know for me, I always wanna look glowy and have a little bit of that glow and radiance to my skin, even when it's the dead of summer and I am like, an oily mess, I still want to give myself a little glow. And if you do all the other tips that I shared with you, your skin will be that much more matte. So with highlighter, you just want to apply just a little bit just to the certain high points of the face. You don't want to go crazy with highlighter because then it will make you look greasy and oily. You just want to do a little bit. And I just take it along the upper cheekbones. Don't draw it down too far. And if you draw it down too far and you have pores, you're going to really exaggerate pores. Um, so you want to make sure you just keep it 
to the upper portion of your cheekbone. So that's it for today's video. If you follow these tips, you will be poreless, shine free, grease free, oil free. Your makeup will last throughout the day. Speaking of, one last and final tip for you, blot throughout the day. Do not keep adding powder to your skin. You just want to blot and blot the oil away. For me personally, what I do is I grab a little piece of toilet paper and I just blot my T-zone and then I'm good to go. Now there are other products out there for blotting your skin, such as like blotting papers. Beauty Blender has that blotting thingamajig, whatever it is. But for me, I just take a little piece of toilet paper. It's easy to find. And I think it works so, so good for just blotting and your skin looks really great afterwards. Super easy. Anyway, that's what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. And then I will do a follow up to this video for dry skin and how to prep for makeup with dry skin, tips and tricks on how to keep your makeup looking amazing if you have dry skin throughout the day and all that good stuff. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out and spending your time with me. I will see you next time. Bye.